like and share. Episode 1, Feast of El Neros. Once upon a time, in a happy village, there were children who gathered to celebrate the beginning of the special Coptic year. They were excited because they knew this day was filled with goodness and holiness. The children sat in a circle, listening eagerly as their wise elder began to tell them a wonderful story. He spoke of a kind man named St. Paul the Apostle who said, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. The children's eyes sparkled with curiosity and they imagined themselves becoming new and better versions of themselves in the Coptic year. The elder continued sharing wise words from Isaiah the prophet, who said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the humble. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to announce freedom to the captives, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. The children understood that they too could bring good news and help those who were sad or in need. As the story unfolded, the elder quoted David the prophet, who said, You crown the year with your goodness, and your paths drip with abundance. The children imagined a year filled with blessings and goodness, where love and kindness guided their every step. Inspired by these words, the children made a promise to themselves and each other. They promised to be kind to one another, to help those who were sad, and to share their blessings with everyone they met. They held hands and made a pact to keep the Coptic year filled with joy, purity, and holiness. Throughout the year, the children went on exciting adventures. They visited the elderly, bringing smiles to their faces and warming their hearts. They planted trees and took care of nature, understanding that God's creation was precious. They sang songs of love and hope, spreading joy wherever they went. As time passed, the children discovered that their new way of living brought them closer to each other and to God. They felt grateful in their hearts and experienced the happiness that comes from doing good deeds. When the blessed Coptic year came to an end, the children gathered once again to celebrate. They looked back on the year they had shared and realized that they had truly become new and improved versions of themselves. They had experienced the joy of giving, the power of kindness, and the beauty of living a pure and holy life. With thankful hearts, the children promised to carry the spirit of the Coptic year with them always. They knew that every day was an opportunity to be a new creation, to spread love and goodness in the world. And so, they set forth into the world, ready to embrace each day as a gift and continue their journey of joy, purity, and unwavering faith. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, and share.